Agent says spit is. And I hear with the video that talk about more about spirituality, how the spirits um, see clearly and how the spirits are able to see so vividly. Like I spoke about in the videos, but I want to talk more detail about that and how being on drugs like acid trips and being on DMT trips, um, any like a hallucinogen thing that's neurological um, is very similar to the effect of being a spirit and seeing and gaining knowledge without ever needing to uh, to overanalyze your environment just by being and seeing and uh, one thing I came up with is that um, there's some other things I want to talk about but with this especially, uh, particularly the spirits are able to uh, see very clearly because they're uh, like I spoke about in the video they come out of the, the middleman you know the, the body this neat suit that we're in and it kind of weighs down um, you know our ability to absorb information and to appreciate what we're staring at because a lot of people a lot of mediums and a lot of scientists and people who study about spirits and all stuff um, there's one thing that that they don't that one fact that I'm pretty sure is real is that the spirits and the living see just as vividly both the same they see things just as vivid the the spirits see just as just thing, see things just as vivid as the living and the living sees does see things just as vivid and sharp as the as the dead as the spirits both the same the only difference is that the living is not able to visually look at the environment and uh, absorb more deeply to attach their emotional state to the visual external content that they're looking at because um because the human body uh has a lot of psychological emotional uh um thinking and thoughts going on all the time and that within itself kind of uh deters and uh well, um, doesn't allow the frequencies to enter right and doesn't it kind of like clogs it clogs things up and um, basically what it is is that the human the living person has a lot of background noise in the subconscious and the brain what I mean the background noise is that they have a lot of uh, thinking a lot of worries a lot of anxieties about work and a lot about financial and social and uh, personal sexual whatever they have a lot of background noise going on so the living person they can see things just as vividly like they're holding up a brick they can see all the nook and crannies and all the crevices and sharpness of the cr as a, a brick holding up a brick as a spirit would be would be looking at the same brick the living person and the spirit see the same details and the same dramatic vivid sharpness uh, both the same they both the same, but the only thing is though is that the spirit, their emotions is is able to flow out more. And when the this is the thing I'm getting at, is that the reason why the spirits when they go to heaven, you know, um, when they go to the spirit realm, they see things more sharply, bigger things pop at them. The reason why is because they're out of the body; they're no longer uh, anchored and hindered by the background noise of the living mind. The emotional states. When you're staring at things, the living mind, a uh, living person doesn't allow. They don't allow themselves to to completely become become engaged into what they're staring at. You know, random objects like this, things like that. You know, they, they, they're, there's too much going on. They're looking at it. They see it sharply, but they're not engaged with it emotionally. There's too much thinking and worries going on in the back of their mind. Financial problems, social problems, I need to go and get some clothes, you know, pay the bills. So all that kind of hinders the appreciation of the sharpness. And the spirits since they're out, they're no longer hindered by the human mind, the brain. They're able to look at the same thing and now they're just basically they have no worries now. So now um, their environment becomes their body. So now they're able to look at an object and they're able to project like, effortlessly project their emotional state because this is the thing. The reason why the spirits see so um, vividly I want to get at is because they're able to project emotions to the object. Not only is their vision just as sharp as the human body, human living person, but now their emotional state is now included 
is now added to the visual content. So the visual content is combined with the emotional content, both clearly working together in sync, connected like a puzzle piece. Now, since the background noise of the living mind is not there, now they're able to look at things and appreciate and see the intensity. It becomes more intense because now the emotional state completes the puzzle of their visual, visual and uh, their visual existence. Um, the, 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 the emotional state now completes the puzzle piece of their visual external, um, they become the totality of their observation now. They become the totality of their environment because their emotional state flows out more without the mind clogging things up, problems, thinking. Now they're able to project more and just be and connect with everything. And that's why they're able to see things more sharply and appreciate. And that's the thing I want to get at too. I don't make like the video long. But the, but the other thing is it's kind of similar to DMT and acid trips. Like when when uh, when you take acid trip or DMT or whatever type of drug, whatever, you know, it it, it, it allows the mind to open up more. It, 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 um, it activates other parts of the brain. It's almost like you have no control over it. And that's the same thing as um, the spirit what what it's doing what i'm thinking is that the brain is loosening um the spirit in the brain when you're logic and you have no drugs in you the brain and the spirit are kind of connected but when you take drugs the brain gets affected the physical brain gets affected so it becomes loosened the spirit and the brain become loose and so now everything that you're looking at is now communicating with you it's become it's loosening up in the quantum level it becomes loosened up because the the liquids and the and the chemicals loosen up at the quantum level the separation the tightening separation of the brain and the spirit the body and the spirit become loosened up the liquid allows that to be loosened up and so now when you're looking at things you, things are speaking to you it's almost like every little thing is like awake it's alive everything is telling a story and when, and when people experience this they're unprepared but the people don't understand is that that is how spirits see things 24 7. that's how they receive information that's how they live the spirits everything they look at is a story a cup a bottle you know like this of, of the details of a wallet everything around them is is telling a story it's it, it's opening up and, and and taking you on an adventure that's what a trip a drug trip is but a truck a drug trip is actually um, the way that a spirit actually lives and perceives and exists 24-7 every day even though there's no time up there. That's how they live. And, and by taking the drug, you're basically um, one with the spiritual, psychological intellect. You're becoming one. But because you're living with the body, your body is kind of, you know, it's like this tug of war. Like, you know, the logical part of the brain is like, hey, wait a minute, this is not right. There's, there, there's too much... Uh, um, there, there, there's no logic going on, you know, that, that, um, I'm freaking out here. But when you die, when you die, the same thing happens. When you take the drug, things loosen up. When you die, things loosen up. Just like the drug, the drug loosens up the spirit with the brain. And when you die, the brain and the spirit loosen up the same exact way as you take DMT and acid and anything else. But this time, you completely, the spirit loosens up from the brain and body completely detaches and now that DMT acid trip that you had is now become now it's more um you're you're um transitioning more better now because now it's much more fluid and much more smooth you're not stuck because when you take a drug you're stuck this 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 unbalance is stuck and so you know you're fighting with logic and the logic of the spirit and it's like it's stuck but then when you die it becomes loosened up and you let go and you, things let go and that's how that's the logic of the spirits just and um the same exact way that the spirits see things is like everything tells them a story everything around you is telling you a story when you take a trip everything speaks to you and your mind is telling you a story you trip out on every damn thing you look at corners of a damn uh, uh, room cups things like that you get taken away and so like the thing is though is that a, a drug user and the spirit experience the same thing.